Onchocerciasis is a debilitating parasitic disease characterized by severe itching and eventual blindness, which primarily affects sub-Saharan Central Africa, where 20 million people are living with the disease. The parasitic worm Onchocerca volvulus is transmitted by black flies that live in the local riverbeds. The flies bite humans and transmit the parasite into the bloodstream. Female worms then sequester themselves in nodules in the subcutaneous tissue and release thousands of early stage larvae called microfilariae into the bloodstream. Onset of the disease occurs when microfilariae die, releasing a toxin and triggering an immune response. Once people show symptoms, they often seek diagnosis from a community health worker or CHW, a local volunteer who performs a variety of health roles for the region. Once diagnosed, they can receive the treatment ivermectin, which is provided for free by Merck. This should take care of the problem, right? However, the cycle breaks down at the point of diagnosis. The standard and inadequate diagnostic is a series of skin snips where a CHW cuts off a small section of skin and submerges it in saline for up to 24 hours to see if any microfilariae emerge. This test is painful and has a false negative rate of over 40%. Alternative diagnostics, such as antibody tests and PCR, can be highly accurate but cannot monitor disease progression and may not be feasible in rural settings. This brings us to the primary need addressed by our device. Local community health workers need a way to accurately diagnose and monitor patients with low parasitic loads in order to reduce false negative rates of onchocerciasis testing and enable appropriate treatment. Introducing the Oncoscope, a low-cost, high-resolution microscope that addresses the inadequacies of current diagnostic methods. The Oncoscope aims to have a false negative rate of less than 20%, as opposed to SkinSnip's false negative rate of over 40%. This is achieved by having a resolution of less than 2 microns, a field of view of greater than 2 millimeters, and an algorithm to identify parasites. We incorporate blue light, which creates a contrast between red blood cells and microfilariae. This video of human capillaries proves the technical capability of the Oncoscope. After the proof of concept images in human capillaries without onchocerciasis, we performed model testing using self-constructed microfluidic devices to mimic capillaries, and see elegance submersed in bovine blood to model Onchocerca volvulus. The use of blue light here creates contrast by making red blood cells appear darker while C. elegans appear optically clear. We trained our convolutional neural network algorithm with the model data. The initial computation from the validation data subset results in a promising false negative rate of approximately 7% and a false positive rate of less than 1%. The ability to directly visualize, count, and track microfilaria in the bloodstream enables the oncoscope to monitor patients' parasitic load over time. The Oncoscope achieved a false negative rate of less than 20% and an imaging resolution of less than 2 microns. In the future, we plan to enlarge the imaging field of view to greater than 2 millimeters and ensure that there is sufficient contrast between capillaries and tissue. With verification specifications met, we look forward to validating the Oncoscope in the intended clinical setting.